develop counterterrorism over the horizon capability that will allow us to keep our eyes firmly fixed on the direct threats to the United States and the region, and act quickly and decisively if needed. The recent U.S. drone strikes in Afghanistan against Islamic State terrorists may be an example of what Biden meant by over-the-horizon capabilities even when it doesn't have a military on the ground. The United States has already carried out two drone strikes in Afghanistan in less than three days following a terror attack at Kabul airport which killed 13 American soldiers and hundreds of Afghan civilians. The U.S. is carrying out the same strategy in other countries like Somalia. In July 2021, the Biden administration carried out a drone strike against Al-Qaeda-linked terror group Al-Shabaab in Somalia. However, the use of drones for counter-terrorism comes with its own complications. Biden's drone policy in Afghanistan needs to be reworked. For one, the Biden administration had prepared to deal with the Ashraf Ghani government for drone strikes in Afghanistan in the future. However, the reality has changed on the ground, with Ghani fleeing the country and the Taliban taking power. Even in Somalia, the drone strikes are carried out with the consent of the government. The American policy for future drone strikes in Afghanistan remains unknown. Drones rely on human intelligence. Secondly, even though drones present the advantage of remote control assassination, they are still reliant on human intelligence from the ground to locate targets. On-ground target information has been falsified in the past deliberately, resulting in civilian casualties. Without having anyone to confirm the information on the ground, the US would be striking blindly. Targets are also identified through cell phone communications and pinpointing handsets, which can be manipulated by the terrorists. Human collateral damage in drone strikes Thirdly, the use of drones in warfare has been controversial since its inception due to the civilian casualties. Even in the latest US drone strike against ISIS in Afghanistan, reports have emerged that children were among civilian casualties. More than 10,000 people have been killed between 2015 to 2020 in nearly 13,000 drone strikes by the US in Afghanistan, according to the Bureau of Investigative Journalism. Furthermore, the Americans would also need a base to launch the drone strike from. While it is unclear where the recent drone strike was launched from, one report says a Reaper drone took off from the Middle East. Amidst this drone warfare, the United States is not the only party with access to drones. The Taliban reportedly seized the Afghan military's Scan Eagle drones earlier this month. Moreover, in a first in 2020, the Taliban used a drone to carry out an attack. On the other hand, ISIS was the first terror group to have pioneered the use of drone attacks using small drones in Iraq. While the Taliban and the ISIS may not have sophisticated drones like the US, they are enough to kill hundreds of people. Nonetheless, the future of drone warfare in the war on terror is likely to have heavy civilian casualties on both sides.